Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano ba mag-multiply ng binomials using the vertical method. No? Ang ibig sabihin ng vertical method, wala naman talagang technical term na ganito, pero uh, i-multiply natin yung binomials na naka-align siya vertically. No? So, paano yan? Uh, wag na natin patagalin. We have a plus 3 times a plus 2. So dito pag vertical method para ka nagmo-multiply din ng ano no ng number no. So pag number di ba 25 times 32. Ang ginagawa natin din distribute natin yan di ba? So 2 times 5 and then lalagyan natin yung sagot and then 2 times 2 lagyan natin ng sagot. And also yung 3 you multiply natin and multiply din natin dito and then of course i-add natin yung sagot. So dito ganyan yung proseso pero ang gagawin natin unahin natin yung nasa kaliwa no. Nakasa kaliwang mga Uh, terms, no? Dito na una tayo sa kanan pag sa number na kukundiply. So, first we have uh, a times a. Ito muna unahin natin. And then a times 3. So, a times a is a squared. a squared plus a times 3 is 3a, no? And then, of course, itong isa naman, yung 2 naman, distribute naman natin dito. 2 times a is 2a. Pwede natin align dito, no? Kung naalala nyo, nag-align tayo pwede nag-multiply, no? But this time, medyo baliktad siya. And then, we have uh, plus 2 times 3 is 6. So, gagawin natin, i-add na lang natin to. Katulad na ginagawa natin sa pag nag-multiply tayo ng number, we have a squared. Then, we have plus what is 3a plus 2a? We have 5a plus 6, no? Second, we have uh, x plus y times x minus 2y. So, ang gagawin ko dito ay hindi ko siya gagawin minus 2y, kundi gagawin ko siyang x plus negative 2y para mas malinaw. No? So, para sa hindi nakakaalam yung expression na a minus b, pwede mo siya gawing a plus negative b. So, yung minus, pwede mong gawing plus negative something. no? Because uh, subtracting b from a, or subtracting a number from another number is the same as adding that the negative of that number to the other number. No? So, dito meron na tayong uh, terms. No? Puro lang tayo plus kasi plus nga ito. But we have a negative uh, term. No? So, x times x, katulad na ginawa natin kanina. We have x times x, tsaka x times y. No? So, we have x times x is x squared. We have plus x times y is xy. Yeah. And then we have um, yung negative 2y times x is negative 2xy. And then we have uh, negative 2y times um, plus ito, no? Kasi mag magpa-plus tayo dito. So plus negative 2y times y is negative 2y squared. So, i-add natin, we have uh, x squared. What is negative 2xy plus xy? This is negative 2 times, or negative 2 plus 1. So, this is negative 1. At yung uh, variable natin ay xy. Negative 1xy or negative xy plus negative 2y squared. So, this is, also, this is already the correct answer, pero kung mas gusto niya, mas konti yung symbols para wala na tayong... Uh, plus minus sorry babalik ko pala yon para meron uh, para wala na tayong uh, parenthesis saka plus minus kung malalim niyo sabi ko dito kanina plus minus is the same as or pl sorry plus negative is the same as minus no so yung plus negative dito pwede nating gawing minus na so this is equal to x squared minus xy minus 2y squared okay so i think that's it I hope meron kayo natutunan dito ang ating, uh, sorry, this is times, no? Magkaiba yung x saka times, baka malito kayo. Okay, so that's it. Ito yung sagot natin. But again, this is also correct. Uh, kung yung teacher ninyo ay uh, uh, dapat naman siguro i-consider niyan. Because uh, those, these two statements are, or these two um, expressions are equivalent. So, um, gusto kayong i-invite sa sipline.com na dito yung ating mga listahan ng ating mga uh, videos and of course, 
If you want to subscribe, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa baba. Just click the subscribe button para pag, bago, pag may bago tayong video ay pwede nyong uh, malaman kaagad na meron. Okay, maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.